Inspirations, Rapid Fire, Stevie Wonder, Aretha Franklin, Randy Newman, Carol King, who I was going to say Carol King, Jackson 5, Beyonce, Earth, Wind, Fire, uh, PJ Morton, Amy Winehouse, Janis Joplin, Chicago, um, Michael McDonald, <laughs> Paul Simon, Chance the Rapper, um, yeah. The Beatles. <laughs> Told I got a problem with the hours that I keep. See, I work until the sun rises, and at noon I'm still asleep. Oh. So, Gracie and I have been playing music together for pretty much. Always, Ever, yeah. yeah. When we were younger, I was kind of more of the songwriter and Gracie was maybe more of the performer. Now, we both do both. And that's been a really cool, like, development for me, at least, over the years, to, like, watch Gracie perform and pick up things and then see her become a great songwriter in her own right. Thanks. Um. Just saying it for the kids. <laughs> Wasting my time. Our parents aren't musicians professionally, but they are very um, interested in music and our dad plays a lot of instruments and he works in the arts now um, as a writer, director, and our mom is a dance teacher, dancer, so um, not a musician, but they both love music and like brought a lot of music to the table when we were And going. our grandfather was a saxophone player before he went on into business and our grandmother was a singer. So no one, we are the first people in our family to like be a full-time professional musician, but there's a lot of music that's always been an integral part of like our family's life for generations. When you're making a first album, you're kind of just sticking a, a flag in the ground and saying like, this is what we sort of sound like. But when you make your second album, that's when you're giving a message to your fans and to the world of like, this is the kind of trajectory you can expect us to be on. This is how much we're gonna stray from the first one and how we're gonna stray. So that was- And really... how we're gonna stay true to it as well. Yeah, exactly. We stayed true to who we are as songwriters and um, you know wrote about similar themes that we've always cared about you know growing up and family and relationships but we were looking to kind of expand our sort of production horizons and kind of try new things out creatively with production forward but cute to be lame that's the rules of the game But I don't want to be lame We pushed ourselves to do even more like quirky, fun things on this album. There's an entire song where the lyrics are double entendre about consoling someone who has just gone through a breakup and consoling someone who has eaten food that is spicier than they realized. And like the point of the song is that like, if you didn't know which one it was about, it could work well for either. And there's a lot of like puns or double meanings that work both ways. I didn't want you when you're sweating in your face. And I know, and I know. always trying to both like be serious and honest but also have a lot of fun and I think on this album we kind of pushed hopefully both of those roads to a new territory for us. We are 